Well, my view of community service uh, was a negative one. And uh, it really dealt with court ordered, um, something that was court ordered. Uh, before service, I was interested in pursuing a route in the trades. So I, I wanted to be a carpenter. And that's what I set forth when I joined Youth Build. Um, that was my goal. I actually accomplished that goal. But uh, five months into the program, um, I landed a job as a carpenter, $18 an hour. We had a barbecue to celebrate the fact that I, myself and four others got the job. And during that barbecue, I broke my femur. Three days later, the doctor tells me, you know, what do you do, as, what do, you do for a living? I, I'm, a, I'm in the trades, I'm a carpenter. He's like, find a new career because you're never going to be able to lift 75 pounds again. And you're always going to have limitations of what you can do now. And so at that point, I began to look at another option. And since I was, uh, the program I was in, like I said, Youth Build, had already been exposing us to Public Allies Los Angeles, where once a month we're meeting with the allies, we're doing service projects with them, leadership training. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. I decided that would be my, my pathway. Nonprofits provide, you know, um, service and working with the community. So a lot of what I was doing there was creating volunteer projects for youth and leading youth leadership um, activities for young people across the city of Los Angeles. So who in my Youth Build program helped me to make the decision? Um, the associate, the executive director, Alejandro Covarrubias, and then my program manager, uh, Sofia. She was a public ally two years ago, two years before I had joined the program. So she was always talking about her experience in the program and she, was, she grew up in the same community I did. So I felt like if she could do it, it would be something that I would be able to do. So a couple of the folks in there were taking a year off of college to figure things out. Some of them had bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and there are a lot of college level discussions that me fresh out of youth build, I was somewhat prepared for, but, but really outside of my zone. And being able to have those discussions in a safe place and, and have the allies share their experience with me and then also to me share my experience in the world with them was a, was a big highlight. For the benefits of my year of service. Uh, so this is 2004, 2005. I believe the education award was something around like, couldn't have been more than $3,000 at the time. Big benefit though, because after I'd done completed Public Allies, I went to college. The other, the other big benefit was the place I was placed at made me a full-time offer after Public Allies and then worked around my college schedule. And I felt that that was big. Um, that was really big. And, and um, I think those are, because what happened at that time, that was the first time um, in my life where, where I really felt that um, I had something to offer. Service definitely changed the view of myself and the world. Uh, when I first started doing this work, um, even coming in the youth build, I told the staff there, I don't care about my community, I don't care about anyone, I'm here to just get my goals done. High school diploma, get my pre-apprentice cert, get out these doors and go and make money. Um, and that all changed through Youth Build and especially through Public Allies spending that year of service. Today, I'm the program manager for the South Los Angeles Youth Build program, which is pretty cool. Some, you know, 13, 14 years after graduating from Youth Build, I'm now the program manager of one. The skills I learned through, through Public Allies that I use today, um, being able to work with people from outside my culture. So I, growing up in East Los Angeles, primarily exposed to Chicano, and that Mexican-American, Chicano lifestyle, right? Um, but in Public Allies, I was exposed to people from different income levels, educational levels, um, and, and cultures. So there, I would encourage folks to, to find the right year, the right um, AmeriCorps program, full-time AmeriCorps program for them, because there are many out there, and then give it a try and be willing to, willing and open to step outside of your comfort zone, you know, because sky's, sky's the limit. Um, will I always stay connected to the AmeriCorps network? Definitely. I definitely will in some capacity. My dream one day is that I actually do a year of service. Like I just like um, maybe 10 years from now I'm in a place where my career where I, I, I can do that and I could just like say hey I want to go back and do a year of service again because um, I would like to. I've only done one year of service and I believe I got two more terms that I could do. So I would enjoy that just to come full circle in my life and in my career and just and help. Um, I even know, I even heard there's like opportunities for seniors. So maybe when I'm older and I'm a senior citizen, I might do a year of service. <laughs>